Hi, I'm Gloria Shook. I teach at the Center for Real Estate at MIT. I was very, very interested in how executives learn, and that's what brought me to Harvard, where I got a master's and a PhD. As you know, our program is the oldest, our real estate program is the oldest program in the world, and this is our 30th class that we're graduating, and I'm proud to say that I have taught here now for 29 years. So if you want to be a leader, you'd be in the right place if you came to MIT Center for Real Estate. I teach the leadership course, and let me tell you a little bit about what it does. First of all, you look at what's your vision of your future? What do you want to have happen in your life? What do you care about? What are your values? You learn to articulate those to others in a meaningful and powerful way. You learn what are your leadership competencies? Do you even know? and how, are you, how can you be better. So we will also give you the tools to have, develop a leadership plan to improve your leadership skills and help you work on those while you're here and give you the tools so that you can develop your leadership skills long after graduation. The other thing that we work on, another thing is self-awareness because there is no one way to lead. That's the good news. What's good about that is you have all you need within you to be a leader. You just need to know who you are and what kind of impact you have on other people. One of the exercises that we do the very first day before anybody says a word is we get out paper, have name tags on, and we look around our class and write down our first impressions. What's the very first thing that we think about? Because there are brain cells that when fire off, and when we look at somebody, we can judge them right away. One twentieth of a second is all it takes for me to form an opinion about you. So we do that the very first day, and then we give that feedback and work with that. And then toward the end of the course, we do second impressions, and we do it again so that we can compare and see if things changed and why, and really get that sort of honest feedback because people aren't really reacting to what you're saying, they're reacting to how you're being. Those honest, unconscious signals that we all send out. The other part of leadership that is absolutely critical is having the ability to connect with people, to authentically connect with their hearts and minds. Okay? The hearts and minds. In order to motivate them and inspire them toward a desired outcome. So another really wonderful part of this class are the industry leaders that we have come in each year. And this is a unique experience. I don't know of any other place in the world that has this kind of process. But we bring in industry leaders to come and talk to us for 90 minutes. And they are people like uh, Hamid Mogadam, who uh, was a co-founder of AMB in 1983. And now he's the CEO and chairman of Prologis, the largest real estate uh, industrial real estate owner, manager, developer in the world. So those are the types of guests that we get in. What happens is the process. Let me just tell you how this class works. You walk into the class. So you've been accepted to MIT, Center for Real Estate, and you know that you need to become a better leader to be successful and you are taking the leadership course. You're going to walk into a modern classroom, brand new, beautiful, and the chairs are gonna all be in a big circle, and we're gonna all sit down, 15 of us. And then comes in our guest. And all of our guests are honest, candid, full of energy, and one of the first things they always do when they get into that class is congratulate all the students in the class because they're taking the most important class of their academic career because your whole future will be about leadership. So then another, another part of this is, so what? So you just sat down with the biggest leader in the industry for 90 minutes of honest, open, candid dialogue and conversation. So what? It was entertaining, so what? You have to write a reflection paper, not an analytic paper. You are not here to judge or analyze our guests. But what we are here is to reflect and say, okay, 90 minutes with one of the best. What did I learn? What can I take with me that informs my leadership point of view? And that's tough. 
because anal analysis is pretty easy and that's the core of most programs. But reflection is a whole nother skill. And that's really how you learn to be a better leader. One thing about leadership development, you will learn how to lead in this class, but leadership development is an ongoing, self-directed, lifelong learning process. And when students take this course, they have said to me that one of the reasons that they got the job that they wanted was because they took the leadership course. It gave them a whole new vocabulary. It was very impressive. It differentiated themselves from most other people who were interviewing because they didn't take a leadership course. And the higher you go in the interviewing process, the more interesting it became to have those conversations about leadership with senior leadership of the firm that you wanted to hire you. And in the leadership class, while we're giving each other feedback and we're being tough, we know that everybody in there is only concerned about everybody else's success. We just want each other to be successful. And it's a lovely thing.